So how did this water cooling fitting upgrade turn into this upgrade in a matter of weeks? Let's start this adventure right now. Hey Man Cavians, this is Bob from the Bob's Man Cave. Not the N-Scale Man Cave today because we're not talking about trains, we're talking about computer upgrades and how much problems they can be. So, here's where it started. It started earlier this year when I couldn't get Windows 10 to uh, do a Windows update to new versions. And it's probably been going on for quite a while, just, just refused to do it. Come to find out, I thought, I needed a bigger hard drive because I didn't have enough room to do the upgrade on. That wasn't the case. Come find out, I just needed to flash the BIOS and update the BIOS on the motherboard because when it rebooted, it was incompatible, so it reverted everything back to the previous version. Numerous times of trying that, I finally fixed it, transferred everything to the new hard drive, and off I went. Uh, at the same time, I picked up uh, a Ryzen 9 3900X to install later, which was this Labor Day weekend. So I didn't want to take the system down because I was designing James Wright's model railroad and going to his house to build it, which I just got back from a couple weeks ago. So here we go. Um, now it's time for an upgrade. Well, as I was looking at my water cooling system, uh, I had a hose going to the water pump that was kind of kinked and kind of restricting the flow into the pump. So I was going to replace that and rewire the or rehose the flow through some 90 degree bends to get around the mother, uh, video card because it was just kind of pushing on it. It's a big Aorus, gigabyte Aorus video card, so uh, it kind of got in the way. So here we go. I go to get the fittings. I bought the wrong size fittings. Bought 3 8 inch versus half inch. I'm like, okay, that ain't gonna work. Uh, let's tear about the part, part, part of the system anyway. We'll figure this out later. And as I was doing that, I found out that the water cooling system was pretty much destroyed by the coolant and the water block, not being a copper water block. Now, let me show you. As you can see, there's all this white uh, flaky stuff and sediment on the inside of the water block. That's an EK water block with RGB lighting. On the inside, it's not a copper water block. It's an aluminum water block and it rusted. It got stained, rusted, there's a metal plate on the inside, the flow restrictor and the, little, the plastic and everything else. Well, I had red dye that had caked up and was like sticking out of here, sticking out of here. You know, it was it was all over the inside of this thing and it was restricting the flow. Basically, it was got contaminated and it's rusted. It's now a paperweight. Uh, the cooler, I mean, the, the, the pump is still working. Uh, the 240 millimeter uh, radiator, probably still kind of good, but I wouldn't really use it. it kind of got sediment in there as well and the reservoir is uh, probably usable again but I wouldn't I wouldn't use it now so should I upgrade the whole thing I mean the hose is all caked up and everything else you know I'd have to replace the whole system and start over from scratch why because I need a 360 millimeter which is three fans versus two to cool a Ryzen 9 the case only handles a 240 up here and it doesn't handle a, a 360 anywhere because I have all this space in here for um, fans and drives and so forth. So I don't have a case that is compatible with the water cooling system. Should I use the air cooling fan that came with it? Eh, I didn't want to. Uh, I wanted to water cool it. So. I go back to Micro Center down in Kansas City, three hour trip one way. And I find this case, the Helios uh, from Asus Republic of Gamers Strix Helios White Edition case with Aura Sync. 
and I picked up uh, the Strix LC360 RGB 360 uh, millimeter fan with three fans, all in one cooling system. And I head home. It also has the Aura Sync on it as well. I get back home, start putting everything together, so forth and so forth. And I said, okay, I can control my Aura Sync with my uh, Crosshair 6 motherboard. But I go to plug it in, and there's no place to plug it in because Aura Sync is an addressable LED, and these don't have addressable LEDs yet. So, there's no addressable RGB, can't do it. Addressable uses three pins, and regular Aura uses the four pin LED uh, strips. And I mean, I could plug those in there, but I can't use anything that I just bought to light up anything. Not even the fans, nothing was gonna light up. It was all gonna be dark. So, that was Saturday. Sunday, I go back and I get this motherboard to upgrade my other one because this one does have the Aura Sync on it. I also picked up uh, some Molex to uh, SATA 3 uh, power plugs so I could hook up my power supply using the Molex connectors because I only have six ports for SATA and I have four hard drives. And the other two would have had to go to the Aura Sync uh, lighting to, for both those devices, and I wouldn't be able to get any of the lighting working without the power plugged into it. So, using the Molex power uh, cables and the adapters, I was able to use those to light up the LEDs, and I have still have two extra. Uh, power connectors for extra SSDs later on. So, once I got everything put together, um, put the cooling in and the, you reused the RAM, reused the old power supply, everything else is brand new. Now, bad part about things right now is I had a Blu-ray player and Blu-ray writer and DVD writer and so forth. I can't even install that in the case because nobody supports them anymore. They basically are getting rid of those kind of drives and the cases have nothing in the front. There's no doors on the front anymore to put something in there. If you, even if you wanted to, you couldn't do it. You had to jury rig it and put it in the side or something or put it off the side of the case or have an external uh, device plugged in with uh, USB which obviously I have just a DVD player that's external that I could use to install software that came with the motherboard on a DVD. Go figure, right? All these things you need just to upgrade your computer and your water cool. I was just trying to upgrade the water cooling. And this is what I had to end up with. There you go. That's been my adventure this past Labor Day weekend and all because of one little fitting had a chain reaction into all of that and uh, well it had to be done. Just one of those things. Spent a bunch of money but I'm gonna leave you with video of the new system in action with all the little bells and whistles and lights that hypnotize, you know, trying to sparkle someone else's eyes, you know, is really what I probably should have gone with, but um, there you go. Till next time, Man Caveans, hope you have a better computing day, better upgrade day, better model railroading day, better rail fanning day, and stay off those tracks, by the way. See you later. Bye.